Hey everyone, this is Miss Olson, and today I have another Arkansas Diamond book for you. This one is a poetry book. The title is Dear Substitute. It was written by an author team, Liz Garten Scanlon and Audrey Vernick. The illustrations are by Caldecott medalist Chris Rushka. This book was written in or published in 2018, and Little Brown Books for Readers is the publishing company. Dear Substitute, wow, this is a surprise. What are you doing here? Where's Mrs. Giordano? And why didn't she warn us? Dear attendance, you're not quite right today. The substitute doesn't know how to pronounce anything. Poor Tarvi and Betcha. Poor Eleandria. Dear homework that I stayed up late doing, guess what? You're not being collected until Mrs. Giordano gets back. Ugh! I could have shot more baskets last night after all. Dear Pledge, I pledge allegiance to Mrs. Giordano. I like her more today than I normally do. Oh, dear Turtle. Whew. We're supposed to clean your tank today. It's Tank Tuesday. Everyone knows that. The substitute says, maybe tomorrow. Ugh. Please don't explode or die of dirt or escape. P.S. Mrs. Giordano would never skip tank cleaning day. Sorry. Dear class rules, we have you for a reason. And one of those rules should be the whole day can't just be changed around by a sub named Miss Pelly. Pelly, like a pelican, she told us. And then she laughed again. Ugh. Miss Pelly doesn't take anything seriously. S.O.S. Uh, really? Dear line, yes, I do know I'm supposed to be line leader this week. Especially since I was chair stacker all last week. <sighs> I'm sorry that you-know-who doesn't know how we do things in room 102. <sighs> Dear Lunch, at least in here everything's the same. Three celery sticks with cream cheese and raisins for one bag of yummy chips. Mm -mm -mm. Everything's the same, including... Chocolate milk and trading food with Connor. Uh, even though trading food is not exactly allowed. Dear Miss Pelly, now you care about rules? How did you even see us swapping food? I think you have what my mom has, back of the head eyes. What? Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. I wasn't even thinking about people being allergic to things. I was just thinking about Connor's yummy chips. Sorry. <laughs> Dear Tears. <laughs> Not here. Not now. <laughs> You understand. Dear story time? Uh, we usually only get you on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. 
Today's an extra. Hmm. Miss Pelly says it's that kind of day. She says sometimes you have to mix things up a bit. <sighs> By reading strange little poems instead of the chapter book we were reading before? Uh. Oh. Huh. Dear world, it turns out I really like poetry. <laughs> Especially funny poetry. Especially funny poetry about pelicans and crocodiles and underwear. <laughs> oh, poor turtle. Dear turtle, here's a poem I made up. A funny old friend is turtle. If he doesn't die of the dirtle, he's got a tough shell that helps him not smell. Tomorrow we'll get water and squirtle him. P.S. Miss Pelly helped. Hang in there, turtle. Dear Miss Pelly, I wonder what kind of food you bring in your lunch. I might write another poem. It might be about surprises and the back of your head eyes and a switched around day that's well, a okay and a substitute who likes kiwi fruit. P.S. Do you? Dear Mrs. Giordano, it's okay if you're not quite ready to come back tomorrow. We're doing fine. I mean, not exactly like if you were here, but sometimes you got to mix things up a little, you know? The end. Hmm. I guess she warmed up to Miss Pelly, huh? Sometimes we don't like it when our routine gets shaken up. But, if you have a good attitude, usually it all works out okay. Hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Have a great day.